Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So one of my viewers uh, asked a question about my character's gear for reference. So I'm just going to quickly show what gear I have on my character so that you can see what it's like. So I'm going to bring... I actually have, I believe, six sets of gear. Okay. And then I have a few weapons which are at level 20. And I'm just going to show it all so that you, know, you guys have a reference to see what kind of gear my characters are using at level 48. So, the first set of gear I have is Bozo. He has a SSR weapon that's at level 20. Uh, I previously had a level 30 staff that was a SR rather than SSR. But the, when I took a look, the stats were practically the same, so I had used Alchemy to get rid of that weapon. I could simply put, I wasn't planning on making it into a level 40 weapon, so I decided to just give him, you know, uh level 20 staff instead. And the biggest reason for that is because Bozel's intelligence, in this case, right, his intelligence is replaced by MDEF. So given his intelligence is deleted, there's no real point in giving him a you know really great weapon. So other than that, he has a you know level 20 super rare armor level 30, uh, again, super rare uh, helm. You know, both of these offer plus magic defense. And then finally, for his final item, he has speed boots, which is giving him magic defense as well as the extra mobility. So that's how I have Bozo set up. Uh, the next character is Leon, who's my main physical damage dealer. So everything is upgraded to the max, level 40. Um, in order to make it in order to upgrade it any further, which is to bring it to level 50, I need these items, right? Uh, the Epic Weapon Rune. And that's only available at either Time Rift 8.1 or through the Guild Store. So in the Guild Store, I believe it's the rare... I'm actually not even sure where it, the item is. It doesn't even seem... it's not even available right now. So maybe in the future, you'll be able to purchase those runes, but right now I don't have access to them. Alright, so let's go on, let's move on. In any case, I can't upgrade this weapon until I hit, I guess, I think it was level 50. Where, when uh, the World 8-1 unlocks. So, still some time before I can get access to level 50 equipment. Let's move on to the next character. Oh, and finally, uh, Leon's, uh, the enchantment is Rough Sea. That way he does more damage and takes less damage. Bozol's enchantment was Clocks, because that way he has a chance to use his skills more often. So the third character is Lana. She's my main magic damage dealer. So level 40 weapon, level 40 uh, pendant, and then I really don't expect her to survive if she gets attacked, so she only has a level 30 armor and a level 20 hood. And I believe all of these items offer some form of plus intelligence. So plus 4 intelligence, plus 6 intelligence, plus 4 intelligence, and plus 1% intelligence. You know, every, every bit helps. It would be nice if they had a better, you know, if the enchantment offered additional intelligence. But, you know what, I'm not going to waste a lot of gold on re-enchanting these items over and over again. Especially when these are not my final equipment at all. Let's move on to the next character. That's Bernhard. And again, for he damage dealing, he has, uh, it's level 40. Equipment wise, these two are only level 30 and he has an assault ring that's only level 10. The reason for that is I actually want to give him mobility boots, speed boots. Just like what Bozel has, the speed boots for plus one movement, and the reason for that is I find I use Boz I use Bernhardt more to stun enemies with uh, with shield bash than anything else. So he's more of like a secondary damage. His primary focus is more to stun enemies, to do the faction buff, and to apply Lord's Will where if enemies are within two blocks of him, 
they lose attack and defense value. This bonus doesn't seem like much, but it's very important for things like when you're fighting against the dragons in Goddess Trial. So that's how I have Bernhardt set up. You know, strong weapon, the rest is just level 30, which is decent, but can be easily replaced by super rare items once I get access to them. And the Assault Ring is not really upgraded because I'm still waiting to get a second Mobility Boots, which I still don't have at this time. Next, Ledin. He's my main tank. And the reason he's my main tank is because I do not have Freya, and I do not have Vargas. I've done 300 draws, but I don't have either character. It's been pretty interesting. Uh, but I do have a Ledin, so I ultimately I can't complain. Uh, but with Ledin, because uh, in his case, uh, he has a skill called Divine Guard, which replaces his attack with the combination of his magic defense and defense total. So that means his attack value is basically pointless. You just want defense. You just want to increase his defense and magic defense. So given that's the case, you know I have the Oath Sword on him, which gives plus per defense percent. This armor really should be Mephil armor. Uh, He's getting plus percent HP instead of plus defense, but the reason I have not bothered to change this is because I plan to replace this Dragon Scale armor, which is level 30, with the item that you get when you hit level 50. So I think it's... I'm just trying to find it. Uh, no. Ah, aha, yes, it is Battle of Honor. So at level 50, you get the Aeneas armor, which, you know, which is a S super rare, super SSR item instead of an SR item, and as we know, level 20 SSR items is equal is equal to a level 30 SR item. So I'm going to replace that and max it out as soon as I can. So with since that's the case, uh, there's no real point in continuing to upgrade the armor he has right now. So that's why it's not upgraded. His uh, helm is the SSR item that you got for free. So this one gives plus hit points and plus defense. Uh, not much to say about that. So I really should bring this to level 40, but I haven't yet. But that is on my to-do list. It will be made level 40 eventually. And then his final equipment item is Greaves, and the reason for that is because it gives defense and magic defense, and its bonus is more magic defense. So it adds up to a lot, basically. Uh, his enchantments all give some form of the plus defense or plus magic defense. It gives both for the Greaves. The Helm gives 7 defense right here. This gives 7 defense as well. And the Oath Sword gives two defense and two magic defense. So, you know, a bit of uh, some additional defense and magic defense from every enchantment. And the enchantment he's using is Hard Rock. The reason is because I find his soldiers tend to die pretty fast, and once they die, having them be able to restore themselves is very important. All right, and then my healer is Liana. Liana. Not much to say about her. Her enchantment is, of course, Crystal for additional healing. Uh, the Crystal Ball makes gives you an immunity to deactiv to deactivate active skills. So no matter what, she is able to heal. This is a very very useful artifact for PvP as well as P for PvP especially. But it's also a decent bonus even in PvE. Um, other than that, I just. To be honest, I just stacked plus defense items on her. And the only reason I did that was because early on I was not getting any plus intelligence items. So, but I got a whole load of emerald crowns and devout coats. So that's why I made it at level 30 really early. But then after that, I realized that sooner or later I'm going to replace this stuff. So again, I haven't upgraded it yet. And the biggest reason I have not been continuing the upgrade is because when you're upgrading, you don't just need one of the item. You also need these runes. And the runes means you have to... Well, before the patch, the runes meant you had to, to sweep a lot of the time rift maps, right? 
since you only get like, you know, three, two or three items per sweep from the basic headgear rune, that means every time you upgrade it, you have to sweep like, what, two to four times. So that's a lot of stamina use for sweeping. So I, that's why I haven't upgraded them. It's changed because the guild store now allows you to purchase runes, right? Especially the basic runes, they're now quite cheap. It's a hundred, uh... 100 guild medals for 10 basic runes. So it's now much more viable to upgrade equipment. But one of the things is the priority is to get the rune stone right now, which costs 3,000 3, medals. So it's near the end of the month. It's the 21st. This month ends on the 28th. So you have to get the rune stone first. So you won't be able to buy any of these uh, runes until next month, really. So given that's the case, you know, I'm not planning on upgrading my equipment anytime soon. So I'm probably going to transition straight to SSR items rather than continue to upgrade these SRs. So I've covered my six main characters, which is Bozel, Leon, Lana, Bernhard, Ledin, and Liana. And then I can just switch a look over at Almeda. Almeda has a SSR weapon, uh, it's level 20, and the reason she has this weapon is because when you initiate combat, after the battle, it heals an ally for 1.8 times the caster's intelligence. So this weapon, it's quite useful because of the Holy Word skill. So the Holy Word, what happens, what ends up happening with Almeda is, you know, uh, Holy Word heals, the weapon heals a second time, and then her skill heals a third time. So she basically ends up healing three times in a row. Uh, pretty handy. I mean, it's only level 20, but that still means it's equal to a level 30 uh, SR weapon. She also has a level 10 crystal ball for, again, to make her immune to deactivate active skills. These two items, I also occasionally move over to Chris, who I use occasionally. You know, give her the weapon and the uh, and the accessory. Take, let's say, a weapon, in, uh, you know, some. Let's take an armor and a helmet from either Bozol or Lana, and then then Chris is fully equipped for a battle as a secondary tank. Or sorry, as a secondary healer, not a secondary tank. So, other than that, that pretty much covers all my weapons. I also have one final weapon that I occasionally use, which is the Seal Guardian. It's level 20 right now. Now there's plus attack and plus defense. What I normally do is I give the Seal Guardian, which is level 20, to Leon, because he can equip it. And then I give the level 40 weapon over to Cherry. And the only time I really do this is for when I'm clearing out the uh, the secret realm goblins, so the stolen treasure. That's really the only time I move my equipment like that, because I use Leon and I lose, use Cherry for those battles. But that's really more of an exception than a rule. So yeah, that's pretty much my current equipment setup. What I'm missing right now is I'm actually missing armor and helmets for flying characters like Cherry. So that's actually a set of equipment that I have to level up. Uh, but I'm planning to wait till I find some SSR items before I do so. I currently am holding on to 600,000 gold. Uh, really, that amount of gold could level up another item from level 30 to level 40, if I so choose to. But as I was saying, there's nothing that I really particularly want to keep in the long term. So that's why I've been holding off from leveling it. And you know what, saving the gold also means that when I hit level 50, I could probably upgrade this last night to the level 50 version as soon as I hit level 50. Because all that really needs is... First, I would need these items. So I'll have to do some farming for these. But rather than, you know, a, a second copy of the last night, what I can do is I can go to the store and with 300 uh, auriculum ore, 
I could buy an Epic Martial Spirit to upgrade it. I don't have 300 right now, but I figure in 3 days or so I will have that. And I I actually should be saving up more of this Oracolum Ore because I will also need multiple Epic, epic Martial Spirits. Not just to upgrade the weapon, but to also upgrade the helmet and the armor for Leaden. So, because the helmet and the new armor will both need upgrades. And to bring it to level, f you know, uh, from level 20 to level 30, 40, and then 50, that needs three items. So we're looking at, what, three, three for the armor, two for the Aeneas Helm, and then one more for the Last Knight weapon. So that means six total Epic Martial Spirits. And six Epic Martial Spirits means around uh, 18 Aura Column Ore. <laughs> so if you were smart, not like me, but if you were smart, you would be saving up all your ore right now to have a max level set of equipment, as opposed to gambling for uh, new weapons and armors, which, I have be which I've been doing. <laughs> so that's just a small tip. Uh, you want 1800 aura column ore, so you can have a max level set of equipment right as soon as you hit level 50. So one of your characters would be, you know, ridiculously overpowered. Uh, I think that covers everything. In the Other than that, you know, uh, if you don't... Usually speaking, generally speaking, the best way to transition is really to have max level sets of SR equipment for most of your characters. And then, then one set of, you know, max level SSR equipment for now. And then you slowly grow your additional sets of uh, SSR equipment. Because, as I was saying, level... F basically, level... Max level uh, SR equipment, which is level 50, is the equivalent of level 40 SSR items. So given that Aura Column Ore is in the early stages of the game anyways, very very rare, it's better to have you know, max level sets of SR items that, so that all your characters are fully equipped and then, only, and then slowly build up your sets of SSRs. I hope that uh, it's, that's very clear for everyone. And you know, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. And that's all for this video. Nitro out.